Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use persistent filters. So for example, if I click USA, uh, and I want the segment type equals channel partners and enterprise. And when I switch to Canada, the slicer, it will be defaulted. And that's because when I updated the bookmarks, I updated the bookmark using all visuals instead of selected visuals. So if I wanted the slicer to persist through each button and bookmark, then I'm going to have to update the bookmarks for selected visuals. So I'll first do this with USA. And the first thing I have to do in the selection pane actually is for the first visual, make sure to click it, then shift, press shift, click on your last visual. You want to select everything besides the slicer. So once that's done, then you're going to go to your bookmark for USA, click selected visual, then update it. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for Canada as well. So click, then shift, click this matrix, selected visual, then update. So if I click USA right now, I know that if I have something filtered for segment type, for example, this will persist. And if I go from USA to Canada, it will persist. But once I click France, the slicer will get, be defaulted because I updated this bookmark for all visuals. And that's the big difference between selected visual versus all visuals when you update a bookmark. 